Olga lost clips. Uh, as far as strategies go, you will learn each of the strategies. Those are divided up. Sometimes they're all in a single video. Like I'll give an example, the diamond dot. We have a diamond dot strategy. What is a diamond dot? Very simple. It's a diamond with a dot of some color. It can be red, it can be green, it can be blue, it can be pink. So diamond dot, this is a structural entry, but it is a multi-structure entry. So you have the diamond, which is technically an ABCD pattern. If you are an ABD, ABCD studier, and at the D point, we are looking for a dot there. And a dot is a Fabella dot for us. We have another time frame entry there. And again, I won't go into a ton of details on it, but you will go in the direction of the dot. This is strictly a structural type of entry strategy you'd like to combine this even again you could combine this even more so like let's say that you also got a cross showing up in here like a alpha omega cross well now you may want to take that along with it and go to the long side because you've got that we talked about that in those each of those strategies is an entry strategy we do have broad strategies the broad strategy is like what we just talked about understanding multiple time frames going in the direction of the tide and the wave and finding one on the ripple is that a strategy yeah technically it is but that was what i would call like a big picture strategy how we our approach uh, i would call it our approach versus necessarily a strategy when i'm referring to strategies here in our program we're talking um usually in the terms of entry strategies that is our focus that's where our real home run hitters are speed on nq is is the best right now i can just you can just look and you can just tell the speed here is best i'm gonna stick with nq got some little prz targets above me or entries if we go just a diamond Needed a Fit dot dogs. i want to get Nasty. a diamond dot okay there's a diamond dot i'll take the diamond dot to the long side get up there Target. thank you oh. diamond dot baby diamond dot Folks, that is why you wait. That's a diamond dot play right there. Beautiful. A little bit tricky on that. I would still have half, half off that one. Remember, diamond is the weakest harmonic. Everybody write it down. Diamond is the weakest harmonic. Okay, so if you're going to bail on that, at least half position. I wouldn't bail on the whole thing. Okay. So special harmonics. Let's talk about the special harmonics because the generic ones is going to be everything else. Okay, so the ones that we care about are going to be these right here. Okay, shark, diamond. That's it. The sharks and diamonds have a special property the way that I approach these two. I should use a different color on that. All right, a little bit, a uh, little bit retentive on that. All right, so sharks and diamonds. Why? The diamond I actually classify as one of the weakest. Okay, and this one here I classify as the strongest. Why might that be? So the shark itself has one of the largest PRZs. One of the things about the shark largest zone and then diamond um, has the biggest potential to be combined with a dot okay all about the dots let's just call them fib dots for now to be short but the fabella dots that we use you are going to want to pair those with the diamonds that diamond because it's going to be weak that means anything else that fires off in that diamond is now going to be more validated okay the, the diamond itself is actually a standard A, B, C, D pattern. If you go look at what a diamond is, this is a name, and don't ask me why, whoever invented these things decided that the diamond needed to be in the harmonics, that the diamond particularly is actually an Elliott wave. It is a standard Elliott wave. Elliott wave, if you have studied that theory, is A, B, C, D. Um, so you've got two links, two legs of equal length, these two, A to B, is equal to C to D. And I won't go into that here tonight. You guys can go study Elliott Wave. What we have done is taken all of those studies and combined them inside of Algobox to be very, very powerful. All right. Uh, you feel sorry for the bat and the crab? I know the bat and the crab, they just get a, uh, they get a bad name. They're just, uh, you know, they just are. But yes, they're all of our little animal names uh, that we have. In fact, there's some that people are like, Vinny, why don't you add the wolf wave? And I'm like, I mean... You can. You can get to a level where you're adding all kinds uh, of them. And I have thought about adding Wolf Wave. Somebody was also wanting to do the, um, I forget what the, the triple is called now. But, you know, there, there are a lot of people who argue that some others are harmonics. But again, some of them are actually their other patterns, but they're just renamed, like the diamond. And I don't know why they call it a harmonic, because, again, it is an ABCD. Hence why it is one of the weakest, but it is in our repertoire. And we do often use those two legs. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn. Watch this next video.